Our next guest, a celebrity in my mind. He's the owner of a New York area supermarket chain, and he started a health care program for his employees, which he says is saving millions of dollars. Huh. The man in question is Stu Leonard. Uh, if you know in the Northeast, you'll know yeah. Stu Leonard <coughs> stores. It was the first grocery store that I went into when I first arrived in America. Thanks for having me, Stu. That's what made me excited. The first <laughs> store you went into. That's good. Let's get right at it. Okay. You have a program of preventive care for your employees. Right. Give me an example of what, how to prevent. What, what were you doing? Well, you know, we're, we're in the food business, and people shop for food. You know, lobsters. How much are lobsters? Filet mignon. Sure. Hamburger. People we found didn't know what health care cost. For instance, if you have to go get a colonoscopy, yeah. $2,800 you would have to pay. Most people don't even know how much it costs. You can go get the same thing by sometimes the same doctors for $1,500. So you're telling your employees, well, did you give them a bonus if they we shop around? We give them a bonus, you and we it. show them how it saves money, and we, we also show them the other places they can go. And like Yelp and TripAdvisor, we give them like, like ratings from other people that have went to these clinics. Really? And so they're able to save, they're saving us thousands of dollars, and we communicate it to everybody too that, that there's these savings. I believe you're also <clears throat> telling them, please go to a clinic rather than immediately go to the emergency room, correct? Well, the emergency room is $1,000. I just heard an example where one of our team members had, their child had red eye, mm. and they went to one of these urgent care clinics, and they actually, the doctor has to photo a picture over. And since they were already registered and everything, they prescribed the drug, and the person didn't even have to leave home with their child. Their mm -hmm. mother went and got the prescription, came back, it was only $45. Did you give them a bonus? <clears throat> yeah. You did? Yes. Yeah. May I ask, what was the bonus? It's about $100. Whoa, hey, that, that's... So they made $100 by not... Plus saved a lot of time. That's cool. do, do you go to preventive medicine, like... Do you, ask your employees to go to a nutritionist or a chiropractor, something like that? We do a lot of that in-house. I mean, I have a Fitbit on right now, and they're tracking my steps. Really? <laughs> so I <have> to, <laughs> they're watching me, and I have to set the example because it does come from the top. Now, when we introduced you, I said that you were saving your employees and you millions of dollars. Yeah. Is that accurate? Millions? Well, over the years. I mean, we were one of the... We, we, for 10 years in a row, we were one of the fortune... 100 best companies to work for. And then what we decided to focus on health care. And that was back about uh, six years ago. We have saved millions since then. The average trend over the last five years is a little under 7% increase in health care. We've partnered with Cigna, which has been a big help to us. Mm. Our increase has been a little under 1%. Wow. Forgive me, before we close, I have to tell you, I arrived in America first time around, <laughs> early January, I think, 1973. Ooh. I was taken immediately... <laughs> yeah, I've been that long a long time. Long time. <laughs> and I was taken to Westport, Connecticut. Yes. I thought all of America was as rich as Westport, <laughs> Connecticut. Well, for, <laughs> come to the store for Memorial Day. I'll hook you up with some filet mignon lobsters. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll make, get you a feast. We have but, a filet mignon burger, too. My first wow. morning in America... <laughs> I was taken to Stu Leonard's, <laughs> your, your dad's place at the time. Yeah. And I thought, I've never seen anything like this in my life. Yeah. You've got big, wide aisles. Yeah, yeah. one way. One, one way, one yes, way. that's right, that's yeah. right. And you've got an animal petting park <laughs> zoo in the, in the yeah. parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> Still going I was strong? just out there with the little calves. We have some little two-month-old calves out there. Aww. I was with them this morning. I told my dad he has to come over and see them. You know, Stu Leonard, you run a fine business, yeah. Yeah, and thank it's you. really great uh -huh. to have you on the show. And I like it's your fine. idea of preventive care. Well, too. you know what the best thing is, though, is we're taking care of our people. And, and yeah. it's preventative, but you know what? We're teaching the younger people and everything how to take care of ourselves. And you know what we hope is that people will prevent heart attacks, they'll prevent diabetes, and they'll be able to get a jump on a lot of these things in the future. Stu Leonard. Who would have thought <laughs> that I would speak to Stu Leonard 40-odd <clears throat> yes. years later <laughs> yeah. in a, a TV studio? But, <laughs> I, I would say my name, Stuart, I think is spelt better than yours. Yeah, oh, I agree. No, no, no. Wow. It's spelt differently. <laughs> I have the royal spelling. Oh, to you and oh, yeah. to <laughs> but you renounced. Oh, oh. Thank you, Stuart. It's You're a pleasure to be here. Thank you very much.